And a very good evening. It is, of course, Monday evening. Hashtag that's what Mondays are for. This is the Tilton Talk Show with you through till nine o'clock tonight. The Tilton Talk Show with only spores, no horses. Sponsored by Boyle Sports, the principal sponsor of Birmingham City Football Club. And in a good uh, association with our partners at SAS Autos and, of course, their friends at Boards and Labour Club. So it's two wins on the bounce, uh, further charges from the F- uh, EFL. Uh, club statement comes out late on Monday after the show, so we didn't have a chance to talk about it. Uh, Jude being hunted by Manchester United, plus others, no win for the Blues women. And we'll find out if we're away at home on Wednesday. This is a Tilt and Talk show. Be with us all the way through. So there it is, it's Monday evening, that's what Mondays are for. Welcome to the Tilton Talk Show with you through till nine o'clock this evening, and of course with Paul Hipkiss. Good evening all. And our special guest tonight, Sheergar. <laughs> <laughs> We're having to use the um, cardboard cutter, unfortunately uh, the horse has been tied up on some uh, issues that he can't get out of. And so on to we go. He, he does send his apologies, yeah, and uh, we, we will catch up with him at some time. We will. At the first, second or third hurdle. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> He was going to walk out after 28 minutes anyway. Huh? He was going to walk out after 28 minutes I anyway. am. Show finishes on 28 minutes. <laughs> I've set an alarm. When my alarm goes off, mate, that's it. We're gone. We're done. 28 minute show tonight, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> As always, thank you ever so much for sharing this and to be in a chance for next week's competition. All you have to do is share this on your personal Facebook page and uh, it's as simple as that. It's just two clicks of two buttons and you're in the chance with uh, winning some goodies. Uh, special thanks to my son Scott for our new on-air illuminated uh, sign. Thank you very much, Scotty. Excellent. Well done. That's good. That now makes its uh, weekly appearance on the show. It looks great, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good, yeah. Yeah, professional. And a cracker. Clever. Unlike us. <laughs> <laughs> makes you look good. Plenty to talk about tonight. OK, we've got the uh, the club statement, looting away, of course. Hang on, uh, hang on. Um, people want to know what's the blanket for? The blanket is for me when I get cold, because um, I had a surprise on Sunday morning. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Now, Chris Brown rarely phones me, right? Mm-hmm. And he phoned me, and I'm thinking, oh, look, there's something up here. Something's <laughs> up. He says, where are you? I says, home. He says, what are you doing? I says, I'm going out to an 18th birthday party in a minute. Congratulations, 18, Josh, by the way. And uh, he says, I said, well, where are you? He goes, I'm in Asda. And I'm thinking, this is all a bit random. And apparently it was Asda in my hometown. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I said, I'll put a kettle on then. But two minutes later, comes up, had a coffee. It was warm. You didn't need blankets. It was so warm. Yeah. And he got a coffee. And, and he got coffee. Yeah. 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 Which is more I've had than any in, in 10 years. <laughs> 10 long seasons. <laughs> 10 long hour and a half every Monday. Pleasant surprise, though. Eh? Very know. pleasant surprise, yeah. yeah. And it's lovely to see your lovely wife, Ellie, as well, mate. Ellen, sorry, Ellen. Yeah, very nice. And uh, was the coffee acceptable? It wasn't it was bad, actually. Coffee. It, it, was posh, it was proper posh bad, filter yeah. coffee. Was it? Oh, don't miss. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, and mince pies as well. And mince pies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually brought some mince pies in tonight as well. Well, they're not in here. <laughs> I, I, I don't eat cake anyway, really. And, some, fair, so. and some crisps. Crisps. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be great for a show, wouldn't it? Uh, eating crisps halfway through. Yeah, so uh, to reiterate what we've got tonight, then the club statement of looting away, Jude, of course. Uh, we've got the uh, Tilt and Talk hat-trick, Alphabetty Blues, who? No horse, as you know, Sheergar's in instead. Uh, the blanket, of course, we've got that. Uh, camp's back in the sticks. Uh, Jeremy Beeler, um, going back to basics, going to talk about the moaners. Obviously, sharing this, it's very important that you do, because we get more reviews, etc., etc., etc. The three-word review, and on this day, anything you want to talk about, a Cardiff, of course, and the predictions... And the show ends in 26 minutes' time, 25 <laughs> minutes' time. So, so we've got it lot all to get going through on. Then we'll have to talk faster. Yeah, lot, lot to get through. I'm going to start off with the uh, the, the, the club statement. Mm. I wonder why that was announced at like nearly a quarter to eleven on on a Monday night. Well, whether or not it was because that was when the EFL 
obviously raise the issue. I don't know. The FL shut surely by five well, o'clock in the evening. Yeah, you don't know what goes on. I mean, seas. it could just be, it could just be that because they've left it late at night, hoping for less response. L- not only less response, but the fact I think that Tom was here mm. and uh, and Robbo was here mm. may have had some bearing and influence on that. But it just it just seems such a very know. strange time to me to. I don't know. Don't know but, uh, but it's, it's concerning it's, though, isn't it? Again, uh, right? Okay, so the, the, the <laughs> there are some more charges on there, um, and and the charges surrounding the sale of the football ground, yeah, um, and and banking that as profits against Shay. Mm. As far as I'm aware, I'm no legal expert or nothing, no accountant. No, so, mm. <sighs> could it mean another bit of points deduction? I hope not. Um, well, we all hope not. From, but from, from what I've read, I don't think it's as severe as what we had before. Right. Um, but I don't know. I hope. I really hope not. So. I, I, so what about the sale of other places? I mean, they sell the car park. Huh? Yeah. The car park. Yeah. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, we're Derby. Only, all I'll say is we're not the only club to do this. Uh, Derby have done it. Sheffield Wednesday have done it. Yeah, but we we seem to be the only one that, that, that gets punished. battered for oh, it. Yeah, I know. Where's the justice in that? Where's the fairness in that? Now, whether it's the fact that we've already had a points deduction and and obviously had, you know, uh, punishment for it in the past, and we're obviously not abiding by whatever they've restrictions they're putting in place for us. But what's the point in, but, in, in, in selling a player midway through the season, yeah, right, who's right banging your goals yeah, in, yeah. right, he banged a load more in, we've yeah. got to shed load more money for him, yeah. can't the EFL just come pat us on the back and say, hey, good job there, boys, well exactly, done. Exactly, yeah, they've doubled the money on him. Huh? So, yeah, they, they certainly did the right thing there, by not selling him in January for £8 million and letting him go for 16 in the summer. Mm. You know, that made business sense, so I can't see what the problem is there. I don't get it. I mean, I since it. when have uh, the EFL been dictating clubs when they should and shouldn't sell players? Do you think there's anything more to it? Possibly. I do. Mm. At this point in time, I do. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, I think there's something we don't know yet. Mm. I'm hoping not. I think a lot goes on that we don't know about. Mm. And uh, it's very concerning, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, we're going to pay our, our thanks and homage as well to Claire Bowden, who left the club about a month ago. Um did manage to send her a Twitter message last week mm. and um, it seems now that uh, Dave is there on his own oh, okay. and, uh, and Claire that last week, didn't he, he did yes yeah. so when I got home I thought you know what I won't let that rest that no. was like yeah. did she don't she responded bless her mm. you know lovely yeah. girl and uh, and obviously thank her for coming in here yeah. being on the show and for all the hard work that she did for Blues and the community mm. and um, yeah best of luck Claire in whatever you do in the future yeah, yeah thanks ever so much yeah mm. lovely lady yeah smashing girl mm. Mm. yeah just this this statement troubles me I'm, I, I don't think I'm reading into it all I'll be honest with you no no there's something not right not not just with the you know I mean people in positions obviously that are making decisions and they're not seem to be the right ones are they mm, yeah yeah you know <sighs> so how long is this going to drag on for again now I hope, I hope not too long well, at least it didn't affect the team. Look, we've beaten Blackburn yeah. um, before that news came out. Yeah. And um, then went on and had a, a 2-1 success at, at Luton. At Luton, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. there you go. Yeah. Let it rumble. Yeah. What what I have noticed is, especially on Saturday, we've stopped all this playing out from the back so much and we've mm. gone back to basics. Yeah. Davis and Gardner in midfield. And it, it, there was a lot of... Um, a lot of I'm going to talk about the moaners now then, right? I'll cross that off my list because I don't want to talk about it twice. Right, there we go. <laughs> and um, <laughs> a lot of people on social media, the second that team sheet come out, were like slating Pep. And I think, and I thought it was up. You know what? He's, he's put in the workhorses. I'm not going to lie. I looked at the team and I was very surprised. Right. Um... And I'm like, well, we've got Crowley and Bellingham on the bench, who, in my opinion, are our two best, two of our very best players. Mm-hmm. Why isn't he starting them? You know, I'm, I did think that, and I did feel for Truman as well. Yeah, um, we'll talk about Truman in a bit. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have his but own little session. Crowley, uh, Crowley and Bellingham being on the bench did surprise me, but mm. you know, I, I, in the end, I just thought, well, let's see how we go. Well, look, and, um, and I don't, I don't normally pass comment on the team sheet and one thing or another. No. Not, not, I didn't this week. No. All right, okay. And uh, I don't know, just like leave it to the boss. Yeah. Leave it to the man. Yeah. You know, we're not all football managers. We don't know what's gone on in training. No. We don't know whether somebody's picked up a little niggle. Mm. Somebody's turned around and said, you know what, boss, rest me this week because I'm not feeling quite 100%. Or, you know, we don't know what goes on. Yeah. So let the boss do his job. Mm. And let, just let him get on with it. Well, the game itself obviously got off to a great start. Um, couldn't have been better, could no, it? No, it couldn't have been better. Huh? What a cross. That's how you do it. Yeah. Cross the ball to Duke. On his head, yeah. boom, yeah. it's in the back of the net. Exactly. Boom. And he's, he's, I've said it before on here that he's the best I've seen at that in a blue shirt. I think going. he's one of the best in the division at it. Yeah. 
But in all my years going, he's the best I've seen at taking right. heavy goals. Which is quite a few now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Quite a few. It is quite a few. Mm. Not as many as me. Well, I'm not saying he's Chris the best striker I've ever seen. I'm just saying he's the yeah. best I've seen at taking heavy goals. Mm. He's an absolute monster in the air, isn't he? Yeah. Every, yeah. every time it goes in, you know what's going to happen mm. if it's put on in the right place. Uh, and L- Luton, looked, he scored for Luton looked beside themselves as well. Mm. You know, they didn't... Yeah, yeah. Um, no. But I, I don't care. About the team on the I, don't, I don't care about Luton. I don't care no, about Luton. No. Not in the slightest. No. Right? Boom. I've yeah. said boom twice already. <laughs> it's only quarter time. <laughs> it's a great word, don't it? Boom. Boom. But on the positive, obviously, we've started that team on Saturday, mm. and look at the players we've still got to come in as well. Exactly. We've still got Sunich to come back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still well, got Roberts done, to come back. He's done his one match ban now, hasn't he? Yeah. I'm hoping Roberts is available for Saturday. It's a bit annoying that when you get when you get a booking in uh, an FA Cup game that you, your next league game is affected mm, by it. Yeah. Uh, well, sorry, when you get sent off. But I guess if you get knocked out of the cup, you've got to wait a year then, haven't you, to... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says Jeff's the only one talking since. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? I want to know. I want to name... Kevin French. Kevin French. Well, what do you know? So, yeah, I was surprised at the team selection when I saw it on Saturday before the game, but we got the result. And, and it that's worked. All that matters. It worked. Tom says it on here, doesn't he? So, let, let, the, let, the, let the boss do his job. Let's yeah. not all be super hypercritical all the time. No. Yeah? No. Cut some of the moaning out, because some of it is just so negative. Yeah. We're Birmingham City. We don't do it that way. Exactly. Huh? We have never got out of this division, or done well in the Premier League, playing pretty football, have we? Not never. really, no. And I think we need to come away from that and just go back to basics mm. and do it the way that we were used to doing it. It's all about nice. getting the result. At also, the also nice to see Pep um, speaking out yeah. for, quite forthright in his um, uh, press conference with yeah. uh, Tom uh, last week, who was on the show, of course, last week, Tom, and um, and saying, look, I, I, I pick the team. Mm. I make those decisions, mm. yeah? Mm. And, uh, it's good to hear that. It, yeah, it, it, it quelled a few rumours. And I oh, thought... But the power that we've got now with the internet and everything, everybody's yeah. everybody's including me, everybody's a football manager, everybody's a, everybody's a football commentator, everybody's, everybody's a, a professional writer. Yeah. Mm. Um but we're not, you know. Even, not. even going back to before social media, you know, I remember going down the ground or being in the pub before the game and then you hear the team. Yeah, but you'd only you, and, you'd have, that'd only like affect a very small group of people, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can oh, yeah, only you talk to you, you can only talk to say ten, yeah. maximum ten people in the pub. Yeah. Whereas whereas on forums and and and, and places you can talk to thousands at a time. Yeah. No one. You know. Yeah. But uh, I'm begging you, please let the gaffer do his job. Just yeah. let him crack on with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If we're going to fight our way to results and not play pretty football and win two one every week uh, or one, I'll take it. That'll do me. I'll take it. Yeah. We did it before with Alex McLeish. And you know what? The, power, the really, really, really annoying thing was, though, is that, is that if we had won those four games that we lost over Christmas, mm. we'd have been sixth. I know. We'd have been sixth. Mm. So yeah, it's a shame that we lost the two halves <coughs> when we did. Because yeah. Clark Salter coming back in the team is also, for me, what's made a huge difference. Yeah. You know? Hello, Mr. Brown. Hello. I'll just sit there. I'll this is great. Oh. Talking to the light, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got to repeat everything I've just said? No, no, no it's okay. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you d- you <laughs> did ask if your mic was okay, didn't you? I did as well, yeah. I'd like to check, yeah. It's yeah. Loud now. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, obviously Clark Salter sort of coming back in to play next to Dean. Yeah. And obviously we're going to miss Dean now for a couple of games. I thought yeah. that second yellow on him was very soft. I thought the first one was soft. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, I, I looked at it over and over and over again last night, and mm. I, I, I still think he, all right, he, minimal touch on the player, perhaps, but mm. like, come on, really, it, yeah. a card for that. But it is what it is, and hopefully Roberts is back for Saturday. Uh, are we appealing it? Do you know? I don't know. No, not I think we either. Probably should, but whether we will, I don't know. Mm. Mm. And do you think if we do, they'll give us? Obviously, it's the EFL that make that decision, isn't it? Well, they can give us nine points back if they want. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Nine points between friends. Uh, I'm yeah. sporting, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. The uh, the Shelby Brothers Peaky Blinders aftershave. There you go. Uh, Very nice as well. Quite nice it is too. Paul's had a little. I had a little before. spray on my uh, wrist, and it's all right. A yeah. bit, you know. <laughs> Some for the ladies. It's not going to help with the ladies. I'm telling you. That now. <laughs> Just got nothing to talk about tonight, so I bought my aftershave in. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, so the two, the two wins obviously is great. We're back on a on on, on track again it's now. It's positive. Yeah. It's positive, yeah. And we've obviously got so many good players to come back into the team as well. Mm. So he's giving himself obviously the way Darth, David Davis as well. I thought <laughs> was excellent on Saturday. Saturday, mate, and was a must win game for us. You know, we could have been properly dragged into. We would have been, yeah. yeah we would have been sucked into the bottom. Th- you know, only a couple of points off. So, you know, we needed that win. Mm. Mm. 
Definitely. So, but, um, and that's why I say, you know, let the gaffer do his job, right? Mm. He put the he put out a team that he thought could go out and beat Luton. Yeah, and he did. And he did. Yeah. Boom. Doesn't matter how you do, one. does it? No. No. Don't care. No, I don't either. Three points. Yeah. Final whistle. Yeah, we win. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I care about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching it come across the ticker tape, if I'm not, or or, or somebody saying something on Twitter, you know, yeah. No, not a bad feeling, is there? You no. know, you, you, if you're not the game and you have got your Twitter on, you got your Facebook on, you have got live score on, and yeah, it's on the TV and everything. You, and then goal, yeah, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, I almost turned around the living room anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. <sighs> Moaners. Mm. Every every game's a must win game now. It is, Chris. I mean what we're on thirty two points now, aren't we? And I think it's probably gonna be about forty six for safety this year, yeah. Mm. Looking mm, at mm, it. Mm, mm, yeah. Probably around forty six. Yeah, fifty yeah. to be hundred percent sure, I guess. To be 100% Get sure. to fifty points and we know we're safe, I would say. Yeah. Um and we have got a very difficult game coming up on Saturday. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What are we ten points behind a playoff spot? We didn't lose six one though, did we? No, no. We, no, didn't we didn't lose 6-1. No, no, no. no, we didn't lose 6-1. No. No. no, no, no. We no. didn't score six. No. Because no. he's still got his clothes on. <laughs> exactly. And I'm yeah. sorry, Linda. Um, them getting beat 6-1 does not qualify for this competition. And, and when did when did the Villa come into this equation? It just popped into my head. Right, okay. I was driving so, I was driving through Stoke yesterday, which isn't the nicest part of the world, to be honest <coughs> with you. No, I, I was as well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I always laugh when I see the brown sign which says cultural quarter. <laughs> yes, we, we came through <laughs> did that you? as well. Did you? We had a good it's year hilarious, isn't it? Yeah, 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 and yeah. Um, I thought, oh, I'll put the game on because it was after after Josh's birthday meal. Uh, and I know I said happy birthday to Josh, but happy birthday also to Brooke. She was seven as well over the weekend, so two in, two in quick succession. And... Um, it, it took me an eternity to find out what the score was. Oh, I just burst out laughing. It was 4-0. At the burst time. Burst out yeah. laughing. Yeah. Not no, it was a uh, very cool, enjoyable right? Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah. Kevin Kelly, David Davis is an unsung hero. Needs to be settled back into the team. Give us some resilience in midfield with Sonic regains form. Absolutely. When Sonic regains form, sorry. Yeah. Until Sonic regains form. Yeah. And, you know, the season pros, Magoma, yeah. Davis. Yeah. doesn't matter who the manager is. No. They've been here a good few years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they always seem to get themselves... Well, just when you think, you know, it might be time that they're starting to move on or get into, you know, not be in the team anymore. They do always fight their way back in. Boom. Fair play fourth, to them for that. Fourth boom. Fourth boom. Credit, boom. Credit, boom. Full boom. credit to them. <laughs> and David, Davies, for me, was man of the match on Saturday. He was yeah. excellent. Yeah, yeah. I only managed to watch the uh, the highlights on uh, the FL Quest show. And can I just thank them once again for putting us on pretty much last and giving us our 30 seconds of fame. Yeah, mm. I don't, I it wasn't show. actually 30 seconds. Uh, no, no, it was less than that. I love that show. <laughs> Do you know, I don't even watch it. Never, never watched it. Is it the one with Colin, what's his name? The Irish guy. Yeah. 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 What's his name? No idea. <laughs> Colin, the whole idea. Colin something. Yeah. Colin something. Mm. Anyway. Colin Murray. Colin Murray. That's Is it Colin him. Murray? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay said it's her birthday this uh, Friday. Who's, whose birthday? Lindsay. Lindsay. Happy birthday for this Friday, Lindsay. Happy birthday for this Friday, Lindsay, to you. And we want to know how old you are, because we should never ask a woman how old they are. <laughs> I think she's so quite how old, old are you? She's she's quite, got, she looks quite old. So. Do you think she's older I, than Linda? I, oh, no, crikey, no one's older <laughs> <laughs> Bruising. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm going to have a guess. Let's have a, let's have a competition. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Lindsay is... Uh, no, no, Quick, she's, I know she's got us, a good on. right hook, so I'm going to say 35. <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing this. 35? 35 to... Go on, go on, come on. I'm, a, I'm about the same as Chris, about 34, 35, yeah, 36, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. No, come on, that's three guesses. Have one. 36. 36, 36. I'll go for... 37. There you go. My birthday is it's my birthday on the 23rd. Thursday yes, we know week. all about your birthday oh, coming up on the 23rd. Birthday, it's horrible yeah. having a birthday in January, isn't it? It Paul? is, yeah. It really is horrible. It is, absolutely. Uh, around the season time skins. of year. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, suppose, I suppose at least I'll get one present between two. <laughs> Adam Wilkes said it was his birthday last Thursday. Whose birthday? Adam Wilkes. Adam Wilkes, happy birthday to you. And yeah, it was only, actually. He's only 34. He looks older than Linda. God, he looks well older than that, doesn't he? He looks older than Linda. How old do you think I am on Thursday week? Oh, we'll we'll do that one in a minute. Okay. When, when we get when we get yeah. Linda's, oh, yeah, okay. Lindsay's, sorry. Yeah. So as soon as Lindsay, I'm going to get loads of abuse now. Oh, people yes. are going to put you've 30, 30 for for Lindsay. Lindsay. 36, 36. You went thirty-five. I've gone thirty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Come on, Lindsay. Hurry <laughs> up. Yeah. Not coming yet. No. Yeah. No. 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 She ain't no. going to tell us. 
No, um, somebody somebody said that she is 37. 37, she's just said, yeah, oh, 37. 37, there you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lee Mailing's got my age. Everyone's a winner, babe. Really? Lee Mailing I, knows. I haven't looked. I haven't okay, looked. I haven't looked yet. No, don't look. Oh, I have, but I'm, I'm going to go. I'm like, going to go. Oh, no, yeah, no. It's Paul being a blues fan. Yeah. I'm going to go for 39. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah? Yeah. I ain't got my glasses on, just a minute. <laughs> 43. <laughs> right, you've had a rough life. 55, Paul from Kevin French. Yeah. <laughs> 41. 41. Yeah. There you go. Okay, uh, looting away. Then decent uh, decent yes, win. Yes, yes, very do. good, very That'll good. Do. Get yeah. back on track, shall we? Yeah, let's just get the points on the board. Yeah. Let's get the points on the board. Get out there on a Saturday afternoon, Tuesday night, whenever the game is, and get the job done and get the result. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whether it's pretty or not whether it's pretty or not yeah, absolutely yeah. I don't care about pretty football I don't either I really don't I do like to watch it oh, if, we, if, we, if we win and play well when that's we a bonus played, like when we played Leeds that was brilliant yeah. that was lovely but, but we lost flowing football but we lost yeah and and we went back like you say went back to basics yeah put the thunder horses in horse yeah. horse who's mentioned a horse <laughs> anybody seen a horse <laughs> There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer, That was me doing and, that. Um, and, and like I say, got the job done. Yeah. Come on, everybody's happy on a Saturday night then. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Bang. Crikey. You don't remember. All you remember is, you know, the result, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, you're always happy coming home when we've won. Doesn't matter how we do it. Okay. Uh, don't forget to share this on your personal Facebook stream to be in a chance for winning a prize next week. We'll be drawing the competition out for that later in yeah. the show. And... Uh, uh, we're going to be playing Alphabetty Blues in a very short while. Actually, we'll do that now, shall we? You want to do that now? Already. Yeah, no, okay, we'll do that now. So I think it's my turn to pull one out. Yeah, it? it is indeed. Uh, Adam Rock says that the horse is a bit wooden. Is he a rocking horse? He's, ah. uh, he's got. He's, he's not making any comment at the moment. No, no, no. No, no comment from the horse at the moment. So. No, no. And you've just put your arm straight through him as well. Have I? That was clever, that was. <laughs> you yeah. just killed him off. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. That's clever. Uh, what is that? Can we have these printed next year? That is a U. Are you sure? I am positive. A U. That is a U. But, but if you turn it sideways, it looks like an S. <laughs> or a Z. Or a Z. Oh, or, a, or it could be a H. No, but it is a U. I know it's a U for Umbrella. It is U. And I can only think of one player. And me. Um, who we've had with the uh, the surname with a U. So, off you go. Favourite player with a surname with a U. Uh, Kevin French said, um, who's for changing captain to Pettersson? Me. What do you reckon? Me. Mm. Look, look, okay, I was going to talk about Harley uh, as a separate I- issue. Mm-hmm. Now, is, he t- is he talking like long term or just while Dean's out? Or? Just, in general, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess in long term. Mm. Harley's coming for some stick for some supporters on Twitter. He's deleted, he his, he's deleted his Twitter account, which I find... Abysmal mm. that a, a player has to do that. Has to do it, yes. You know, that's all his writings, thoughts, memories, and everything that's on there. Mm. Yeah, just wiped away, gone. Mm. Just because people can't like leave him be. It's not. Is it? Is a human being after all? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, it really. Oh God, it drives it's me. Turned mad. into a bit of a scapegoat, hasn't he? I mean, yeah. He's, he's, I mean, he's got, he's got his own song. Yeah. How many players have got we their own song? Have we sung it this season, though? Huh? Has anyone sung it this season? I don't know. Yeah. I haven't heard it for a long time. Yeah. I sung it in the bath. You sung Did it you? in the bath? Yeah. Okay. You've had a bath this year? Oh, I have one every year. Yeah? <laughs> every year. What, every January? <laughs> yeah, every January. <laughs> Just after Jesus' birthday. I was surprised that you didn't ask me if you could pop into my own one. <laughs> that was like, save me the water. <laughs> Tom said last week, didn't he, that, um, you know, Morrison, for all his faults as a footballer, is a leader of men. Yeah. And we don't have that leader of men like we had last season with Morrison. I reckon Peds could do it, um, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. 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 What about Roberts when he comes back? Could he be captain? Again. He was Barnsley captain, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. And for yeah. me, he's been playing well this season when he's played. Yeah. When he's played, yeah. yeah. So he could be a good. Him well, and Clark sorted I think, together. It's actually quite nice to rest my arm on, Chris. Can we keep it here? Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I do get a bit chilly, I can wrap up in it, can't I? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It would have been better yeah. if it had been a blue one, to be fair. But there you Sorry. Go. I mean, Pedersen yeah. is still a young. He's, he's, I mean, he's an excellent player. He's been fantastic yeah. for us. Liam Carroll says uh, captain either Colin or Peds for me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And well, Gary uh, Mark, Gardner, Mark Barnett, Undlove, it doesn't count because that begins with an N. Yeah, I fell for that one as well. Uh, you yeah. fell into that trap, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oops, quite a few upsons I saw. And Lindsay wants Duke as captain. Yeah. Whilst Dean's out or camp. <laughs> uh, uh, hang on, Kevin Kelly, I would make Dukey captain or alternatively 
Camp. Mm. Yeah, somebody else is in Chip, mm. yeah. I guess he's one of the most experienced. Javon Kenny, sorry, Unlove doesn't count that spelt wrong. His name yeah. begins N N D L O V U. So that's uh, that's not uh, Adam Oaks has gone Upson, of course. That's the only one that we could find. Yeah. Uh, Emma Humphreys has gone Upson. That's the only one we could find. Dave Twine, Reese Johnson, and Thomas Varana, Upson. Uh, Robert Preston, Upson. I think Upson's going to win this week, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I can't think of another one. No, no, no. 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 So even if we've got another one, it'll take some beating to beat Upson, won't it? Is there, there any, some yeah, yeah. Is there any of our historians out there? We've, I've, I've got the book at home of every single Blues player. It's about 10 years old now, so I, obviously it would yeah. need, I need an update at some junction. Yeah. But is there anybody that's got that book that could look back over the years and see if we've had another player with the letter U? U. Have we had another player with a letter U? Uh, Terry Zulu Dempsey, Duke captain. Uh, Robert Preston, as we've said, on Love doesn't count. I look at Davis or Duke for captain, and we've had an interjection. I, I'm just, I'm just, just to say that I, I'm with Kev Kelly right, regarding footballers um, and social media. I think, yeah, maybe, maybe there should be a ban. Because oh, I think that either that or keep it private so, to your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're leaving yourself wide, so wide open, mm. and there are so many idiots waiting. They're just waiting for you to say something. But mm. I mean, it was like it was like that 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 ribbon I had on social media today. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I loved it. Yeah. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Yeah. <laughs> just if it makes me laugh, then I'm, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But you oh know, yeah, if it's funny, and it yeah. makes you laugh. But yeah. you know, there are blues fans that are just waiting to moan. Mm. Yeah, don't, don't start me on the moaners weeks. again. I've, I've crossed moaners off me. And list. if they haven't got anything, to I want moan. to eradicate moaners. I'm putting another cross through it again now. Mm. I've done it twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's my runs of the week. I'd like to see the Harley Dean back, though. That you know that we, that we've seen before. I'm not saying he's ever been a world beater for us, but he has he has put in good performances, and he's a solid defender when mm. he's on form. You know, right. so I'd like to see, and he's also good with the ball at his feet as well. Some of his passing is pretty good mm. yeah. at times. You know, so hopefully he can. You know, come back uh, to Steve four. Portman says Duke is a vice captain, but has to be in the starting eleven to be selected. Oh, 28 yeah. minutes off we go. Oh, we go. Off yeah. we go. See ya. Yeah, See ya. See ya. Hello, hello. Is there anybody here? <laughs> of those, of course, listening on our. Uh, just to show Switch FM tomorrow, you know, that was our little, um, there we go, <laughs> moment of solidarity for our neighbours. That'll be the advert. <laughs> Did you just slip an advert? The Austin leave? Oh, no, he never met, he never left. No, he's Very died. disappointed. He's died. Oh, I, th I thought he'd be better than that. Scab. Scab. I thought he'd be better than that, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> right, so that's Alpha Betty Blues out and done. As yep. of, so yeah, it looks like Matthew Upson's going to win that by a country yeah, mile. country mile, yeah. Now I've switched my phone off doing that now. Oh, yeah. Start someone, someone, again. someone said earlier. I can't find the comment now, and I can't remember who said it. But you, you could do <laughs> Dean good having a little rest, you know, for a couple of games, sitting a couple of games out, mm. which was a fair point, I thought. Yeah. All right. Okay. I have to restart that again. Uh, Jude widely reported this week. Um, Twelve and a half million bid from Man United. Mm. Stick it where the sun don't shine. Manchester United. Because he ain't going nowhere. Mm. Stick it. I don't think he can go. I don't know. He's not, he he's not, he he legalities. I think he's, he's got to wait till his 17th birthday before he can sign a professional contract. Mm. Yeah. Um, which I think is quite a good idea, actually. I they didn't even know that him, existed. Though. They can still sign him on a scholarship. On a scholarship they, yes, yeah, they could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And obviously, yeah. £12.5 million pound is a lot of money, but for me, he's going to be worth probably three times the amount of that in another five years. Manchester United showing that like, he's got the ability to go right to the top. He has. You know what? What he's going to be best off doing is sticking with what he's got. Yeah. For the time being, we know we're not going to hold him forever. No. Yeah. Yeah. Proper learning his trade. Yeah. 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 As Tom said last week, he's a very grounded young yeah. man. Yeah. Right. Sixteen-year-old lad, really. He's a kid, really, isn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, but he's got his head screwed on the right way, mm. and uh, <clears throat> and I think you know. He, just for me, I'd stay where you are for the time being and uh, go spin Manchester mm. United. Mm. Don't want your money. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Don't want your money. Mm. I think for his money. development, the best thing for him to do is stay where he's going to play week in, week out. I know he wasn't selected from the start on Saturday, but... Yeah, as Kev Kelly said in here, Jude's not signed a, a pro contact yet. If they really want him, they can sign him for 500,000 compo yeah. and he can walk 
where he likes. Yeah. That would be a disappointment. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Aaron says that, uh, that was a disappointment walking out. Where were the cabbages and veggies? Yeah. <laughs> We've got a sheet here. We've got, a sheet. got the sheet here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to mention who's the cabbage. <laughs> Why did you look at Brown? Because you looked over there. I didn't. I looked at you. I thought you looked over there. I was looking at him to see if he was looking at you to see if you were looking at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I I certainly hope he sticks around for at least another season or two, Bellingham, and um, you know, can can plot his trade with us. And if he does, he could become like a real legend, couldn't he? Because he's that good. Yeah. Uh, Matt Wilson seems to think that he'll, he'll have to be sold due to the EFL business plan. Mm. And Pete Taylor says, tie Bellingham down to a big contract when he's 17. If he decides to leave, we should let him go when he reaches 35. <laughs> yeah, where, wherever wherever he goes, yeah. wherever he goes, I would make sure there's a salon clause. See, he, he's, he has got the makings of the next Birmingham City legend. Yeah. You know, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. But he's also got the makings to be the next England legend as well, hasn't he? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He could, he's got the ability to go right to the very top. Yeah. And obviously, to to only get to that level, he needs to play and be around players at that exactly. level as well. It's ambition, isn't it? Exactly. How much ambition? But there's no yeah. point in going somewhere to just sit on the bench and... and yeah. uh, Mark, Mark Barnett said, Jude is no grey or Redmond, he will stay. Unfortunately, um, I think the Redmond and the grey things, we, we kind of had to sell then, didn't we? We had to, we, yeah. we were desperate for yeah. at that junction. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, does it mean he can walk when he's 17 and we get nothing but a bit of compensation Dave Tully if he doesn't sign a professional contract and I take it that that's a yes mm-hmm. I, I can't s- see him wanting to walk I don't think the kid because the kid's a Blues fan at heart isn't it yeah. so yeah. I can't see him wanting to you know I can't see him kicking his toys out the pram and saying like you know I want to leave and throwing a strop over it to be honest mm-hmm. um, that's Dave Tully for that one Mm. Uh, Duke is going nowhere this transfer window either he said so himself at Luton on Saturday so that, that'll go. do for me Lee um, I hope you overheard that personally and that was uh, mm-hmm. but you know to lose the Duke would be a massive loss for us but yeah. anyway, the window's open we had no business in no business out mm. Right, it's um, as normal at the moment so yeah. we just have to wait and see yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Auntie Linda says he needs all his first time experience love his passion and interaction yeah. with the fans it Absolutely. is brilliant yeah yeah. I'd like to think we can sign a couple of players before the month's out, but obviously with all this yeah. stuff that's going on, oh, we are desperate for a striker. Put my head forward like that and my legs, like electric shock, fly down my legs. Oh, mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Steve Portman says it is possible that Birmingham City have already offered him a pre-contract deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd hope so anyway. Yeah, that would uh, that would be good. Yeah, Redmond was a Blues fan as well. Um, Mark Anthony Barnett's just saying so was Redmond. <laughs> and Tony Hurley. How would it? How well, funny would it fan. be? How funny would it be if Duke got an England jersey before a Super Jack? <laughs> That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> how many times did he fall over the weekend? Did you say? Did you watch the game? I did. Yeah. 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 Just a stupid amount again. Yeah. To be honest, he was hardly he hardly touched the ball. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about them anyway. Yeah, no, was he was he playing full full ninety minutes? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Okay. So we need to keep hold while he gives it, uh, us and himself a good stead. Aaron Gallas. Yeah, you're dead right, Alan. And Mark Barnett would have Shay Adams back at a whim. Hmm. Just going back to Jude a minute. When you look at Dan James from Swansea, who's obviously Welsh, gone hmm. to Man United for 16 million, and you know Jude's obviously English. Yeah. For me, with them being English, that adds immediately. Millions onto the price as well, mm. um, and obviously he's you know hot property, sixteen year old um, prodigy at the moment, and um, I think for me he's got to be worth at least the same amount as Dan James, which was sixteen million. Well, Steve Gill says twelve and a half million is disgusting. Bid Jude is already yeah. an England captain, yeah, uh, but I think he will move at the end of next season. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see, Steve. Yeah. I know that we won't be able to keep keep old. I know that we won't. No, be able yeah, to keep exactly. Old, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Pete Taylor says, off the Bellingham, a box of curly whirlies and a uh, turkey twizzler <laughs> for life. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay. You, front of St. Andrews. Yeah. The, the, the main car park there. The front of St. Andrews. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's the door where you you go through to the main reception. Cop reception. Cop reception. Yeah. You can have two statues, one either side. Yeah. Who would you have? Well... In my time, or you're going to pick from, from your time, obviously. From right? my time, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's got to be Trevor Francis, and Trevor Francis has got to be one, hasn't he? Obviously, mm-hmm. you know, uh, mm-hmm. from what I'm ta- obviously, I've never seen, I never saw Trevor, but I have seen videos of him play. Um, Gil Merrick, yeah, obviously, mm-hmm. he's a club legend as well. P 
Peter Enkelman. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> <laughs> with a ball rolling yeah, over yeah, his yeah, foot. With, the ball rolling under his foot. <laughs> with yeah. that look on his face like this. <laughs> it would actually be quite funny. It would actually be quite funny. Uh, for me, my, 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 my favourite ever player since I've been going all the years. Benji Smith says Enkelman as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I used to love Stan Lazaridis, I did. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Stan the man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I like to see a good local legend as well, like Devlin and, you know, the Devlins of this world and Martin O'Connors mm. and people like that as well, you know. They put yeah. the shirt on and, and you know, they've, they've run through brick walls for us, didn't they? Oh, crook, yeah. Horsefield and, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. It's difficult to it's pick difficult just, to pick just to two. Just two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. The, the t- I mean, from from what I'm, you know, from, from what I've experienced so far from other people, it's Gil Merrick and Trevor yeah. Francis, isn't it? Yeah, the okay, now from your yeah. time then. From my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is 19 what? So my first game was in 1989. 89. So from 1989 to now, who, yeah. who, would, who would your two who statues be? Who would my two be? statues be? That's difficult. Because you've got, you got to think of like Martins and that. I know they weren't there for long, but wow, what an impact. Exactly. Darren, Darren Carter. Yeah. Put us Carter, in the Premier Darren League Carter, for the first exactly, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darren Carter. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ziggy yeah. Cheven. An uh, iconic moment, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, that's my alarm clock going off again. We're walking out again? <laughs> no, no, no. no I was <laughs> um, it was just a reminder. Yeah. Um, I, think I mean, I'm Granger, Granger was a, a hero of mine as well. I used to love Granger. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, that's a hard question. It really mm. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Have you thought about it, Nick? Who were you? Dave? What from mine? Yeah, well, from obviously Trevor. Yeah. yeah. And um, from my days, Trevor. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps even Kenny Burns mm. alongside. You know, because yeah, yeah. they were formidable. Mm. Uh, Bob Atten. Yeah. Uh, so here's one for you then. In my time, yeah. since 1989, because obviously you've lived longer than you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Who yeah. would you pick from 1989 to now? Oh, definitely Darren Carter. Yeah. Because that, that was just an iconic moment. Yes. Um, and he's a blue, he's a blue, you know he's a Blues fan. Yeah. From Solihull. You know, it was almost like one of us taking the penalty, wasn't it? Well, it was uh, like one of us yeah. taking the penalty. Yeah. John, what about John Gale? <sighs> Just yeah, for that yeah, am- amazing yeah, average yeah. kick at Wembley. Yeah. My favourite goal of all time. My Birmingham City favourite goal of all time. Mm. Oh, what a moment! It's hard though, isn't it? Ooh, Johnny Gale. Yeah. 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 Horse, horse scored some massive goals. Yeah, mm. especially, especially yeah. ones against yeah, the Vial yeah. as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But his last minute winner against the Baggies and. Mm. He's equaliser in the playoff final. People forget, you know, Darren Carter's the legend of that game. But people forget if he hadn't nodded in that equaliser. Robert yeah. Preston's going Tatey, uh, Trevor Francis and Peter are coming from Trevor Smith. That <laughs> seems to be a popular com- com- combination. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It'd be like Blues to do that as well, wouldn't mm. it? Yeah. Unveil that Enkelman moment. That would just be so oh, iconically yes. funny. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Mark Barrett's gone Zigic. Oberfemi Martins from Steve uh, Portman. Yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah. that one. Of course, that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But these are players who have only been at the club. I wish I could do that triple backflip. It's just massive. I wish I could do a triple backflip. That would be so nice. (laughs) Uh, Tebbley from Benji Smith. I mean, Mm, what would I do for a team of them? Yeah. Alex Govan from Martin Swinsco. Good call. Yeah, he invented our song, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Steve Clark. He didn't actually invent it. A guy called Harry Lauder was the first to sing it. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Scottish guy. Mm. So if you have a YouTube, that one, Harry Lauder, L A U D E R. Uh, Oberfemi Martins from Will Cad Granger from Mark Bennett, mm. a statue of the Holy Trinity, Francis Hatton and Latchford before my time though from Kev Kelly, with a question mark. Mm-hmm. Oh, Don't know whether the question mark was before his time or. <laughs> uh, Stand the man, Paul Tate for me says Stephen Gill. Yeah, some, good, some good answers here, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's a difficult one. Mm. Why yeah. do I keep punching Jeff? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, it what looks about, like you're putting your hand through, Jeff. Does it? <laughs> yeah. What, that's the one with my phone on? I'll, I'll move it, I'll move it and uh, yeah. pull my blanket over a little bit to this way. No, we'll just go on. Yeah, go on. Darren Carter. Yeah. And Stephen Carr. Stevie Carr's a blue nose, yeah. Yeah. But he's the, he's the cup winning captain, isn't he? He lifted mm. the league cup for us. That'd be a good statue, wouldn't it? Yeah, like, have him lifting the yeah, cup? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, All day long, yeah. But then I'd want everybody else behind him as well on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, good call that one. Good call. Yeah. Uh, the then second the alarm was for the fourth goal not going in. Says Adam Wilkes. They were the two most iconic Blues moments in my time. Obviously, winning the and Dave Twine's gone from mine as well. From uh, same as me, yeah, uh, Trevor and Kenny Burns. Mm. You know, great combination. Latchford and Hatton, uh, Frond. So you do Gary as well. Obviously, was incredible. For... Oh, blimey, man! But I mean, we what what would we do for them back in one team now? God, you know, oh, it'd be phenomenal, wouldn't it? It'd be amazing. Steve Claridge from Buzz, yeah, mm. great player. 
great uh, player he was. And Craig Courtney is uh, Claridge and Savage from Craig Courtney. Yeah, Savage would have been a you know a contender, but obviously he went to Blackburn, didn't they? And Adam Wilkes says, uh, do, have an Ian Bennett. They wouldn't need as much bronze as he could. <laughs> Yeah, six foot six of bronze. Yeah, he's a legend, Ian Bennett. Yeah, uh, Travis Smith says uh, Jeff can't get a word in. Well, we, 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 was, problem is Jeff is we had Tom in last week and none of us could get a word in. So, <laughs> so it's revenge week for us. Uh, feed the horse, he might score in a minute. <laughs> uh, Joe Bradford from Graham and Mando, that's a blast from the past. Yeah. Loving the show, lads. Even missing the Martin Lewis show. Who's Martin Lewis? Martin, Lu- Martin Lewis. He's the money man. The money man. That's oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The money man. Right. I never watched that on a Monday night. I oh, never, never watched that. No, no, no. <laughs> Mark Ward from Mark Smith, Hughes, top man. Stephen Carr giving the Violas the uh, sign from Kevin Kelly. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Trinity of Latchford, Francis and Hatton. God, Jude Gary coming in, blimey. Troy Deeney when he comes to blues from Robert Preston. Yeah. Do you like that one? Do you like that I'd one? love to see that. Walter Pandiani, for sell. Oh, got to be Trevor Francis, Mark Lightwood. Thank you. Uh, Trevor Francis and Harry Lauder from Mandy Irvin. Okay, so I'll leave that at there. Uh, apparently it's all kicked off at Vile Park yesterday every 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> love it love it love I it, did love see it. have you ever seen a show on Amazon called Back of the Net with Peter Crouch no. and uh, John Bishop and John Bishop no. yeah and Kelly uh, sorry Gabby Gabby Logan um, and Troy Deeney was on there <laughs> and, right. and they asked him the question it was on about his blues tattoo and they asked him the question if he's you know his ambition is to play for us one day and he actually said no. He said, I wouldn't want that pressure. Um, oh, he said, that's not my... He said, if it happens, great, but that's not my ambition. Yeah. So, mm. be interesting to see. Mm. No, I don't think he'll ever play for the No. Adam Wilkes, I don't think that will ever happen. No. <laughs> you can't see it. Funny, but I don't think it'll ever happen. No. Uh, right. So, Okay, let's uh, let's crack on a little bit though. Uh, we've got Lee come back in the middle of our goal. Yes, indeed. And, okay, he's let uh, two goals in. Yep. That penalty, you couldn't do anything about it. You go one way, it goes oh, the yeah, other. That's just yeah. it. That's just it. Yeah. Um, almost had a howler right at the end. Almost had a howler right at the end mm. of the game, but re- redeemed himself. You know, kept hold of it. Um, feel like I said, we were talking a little bit earlier. Feel yeah. a little bit sorry for for Truman. Truman. Uh, he's had his defence ripped a bit at shreds. Yeah. Um, but do we go the camp route now? Well. It's looking that way, isn't it? It's looking like that. that's the decision that Pep's made. Mm. I'd be surprised now if Camp isn't in goal on Saturday and he changes it again. Big, big ask at Cardiff, uh, with uh, Cardiff coming to St Andrews. Yeah. For a... Yeah. I mean, I, I don't recall saying that Truman, you know, it was his fault for any of the goals yeah. he let in. No. Um, and obviously he's been playing in behind makeshift centre-halves. Um, and I would have liked, personally, I would have liked to have seen him given a run in the team behind... Clark Salter and Dean or Clark mm. Salter and Roberts yeah. just to see how we got on I know he played the first couple mm. at one at Huddersfield where we drew 1-1 right. um, and then the second one after that I think was Reading away yeah. where we won 3-2 and Salter went off injured Clark Salter went off injured mm. okay uh, Siobhan Kenny uh, she's asked me to answer my message might need to scroll back a, a bit though um, Siobhan could you do me the massive favour just send me the message again and I'll read it out straight away I'll look out for it if you could send me that message again Siobhan I'll promise you I'll read it out straight away mm. um Mm. Aaron Geller says Martin Lewis saves us loads of money. Mm. Loads of money. Can you have a word with but, Dong? Yeah, Kev Kelly has also reiterated the fact that uh, Troy said in several interviews that he won't play for Blues. Mm. Mm. You mm. never know. He might be tempted if the offer ever came his way. Um, Buzz said, uh, Troy also said he more, gets more stress when the Blues play the, the vial than the players do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Siobhan, I'm looking out for your, your question. Uh, um What's happened to Ramos, says Kev Kelly? Mm. Still playing for the 23s, isn't he? Mm. Played, at the, played the other day. Um, we might see him in goal one day. Who knows? You know? mm. He's our player, isn't he? We haven't got him on loan, have we? Have we actually signed him permanently, Ramos? I, oh, I don't know. I thought we had no, signed I think, him. Uh, I think we have, we? Have we? I think we have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stephen Gill's got a question. Question, who held the League Cup in the 60s? And Stephen Carr. Both won cups, both statues. Okay, Who yeah. did pick the cup up in the 1960s when we won 63, it? 63, wasn't it? 63. Who was the captain in 1963? There's a good question for you. Mm. Let's see if we can get that one answered. It wasn't Roger Hind, was it? Or was that, was that oh, I don't be- know. Was that before his time? Great player, though. Roger Hind. I think Four, we need somebody. Yeah. somebody yeah. Run, he'd run through a brick wall. Yeah. He'd take his false teeth out before he played. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need somebody old to answer that question, so, and Tom's not on it. 
Openly, Linda gets back to us very shortly then. Oh, on loan, on loan apparently. Huh? Um, yeah, on loan, yeah. Oh, right. Kevin Kelly, Paul Hipke, so if any will be our signings in January. I'm hoping at least somebody, Kevin, obviously with all the um, EFL stuff going on. Obviously, I'm concerned whether or not we're actually going to sign anyone at all at the moment. But if we did, I would like to see, I've said it before, someone like Glenn Murray, um, mm. Vidra. Uh, obviously, the trophy signing for me, the, the massive signing, would be, would be Dwight Gale. Yeah. But whether we've got that kind of money, we're obviously only going to go deeper into trouble if we spend that sort of money, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'd like to certainly like to see a pacey or experienced goal-scoring striker. Hmm. Mm. Yep, that's the wish list. Uh, Lewis Astley says, we have the best fullbacks in the league. Such a shame about our centre-halves and goalkeeper. Everything else is fine, in mm. my opinion. Mm. Good call. Mm. Of course, Siobhan, I'm still waiting for your message, mate. Here we go. Uh, just to let you know, I'm on the liquor. Ha <laughs> ha good girl. Liquor? Started earlier for my birthday on Thursday, asking for an early keep right on. I'm 35, by the way. We could have had a competition out that, Siobhan, but very, very, very happy birthday to you for Thursday. And please, please, please let us know what you're drinking. A couple of people have said Trevor Smith. Was yeah, the captain in Trevor Smith. Yeah, thank you for that. That's brilliant. Yeah, Leonard. Leonard so that would be actually a good call as well, wouldn't it? The, the, the two um, cup moments. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. But yeah, then yeah. we got the Leyland Daft Cup, and then yeah. and then the uh, the auto windscreen trophy. Which was, yeah, which Leyland Daft Cup captain was that Overson? Uh, yes. Overson? Yeah. Vince yeah, Overson. Yeah. 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 Well, why not have all four of them then? Hmm. Got room in there. Oh. Yeah, there's plenty of room there. I'm surprised that they've not actually done something. To be mm. fair, mm. to be fair, mm. to be fair, I said that three times. To be fair, yeah. uh, 63 was it? Smith is asking Mark White. Yeah, Trevor Smith seems to be the case. Uh, Mark, thanks. Our friend from down under, Le- Leonard, Leonard Edgington, has uh, said that as well. Mm. Good evening, Leonard, or good morning. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Not having it too good over there, are they? Um, in Australia. No, I tell you what, we'll send our best wishes to all our Australian yeah. friends right now, and I hope that they, uh, they, well, we pray for rain for a start. That's uh, that's mm. desperately needed, isn't it? And uh, some of the harrowing pictures that have been been sent about have been absolutely yeah, awful. Terrible, so, Leonard, please pass on the Tilton Talk Show's respects and regards to all your firefighters out there, all your volunteers, uh, and especially to all those people that have lost their homes and livelihoods and lives, even. Mm. So there you go. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Camp back in the middle of our goal. Yeah. Hmm. You want to talk a bit about uh, Jeremy Bieler? Yeah. I mean, he was a relatively unknown new player for us, wasn't he? Yeah. Not so long ago. Yeah. And for me, every time and I everybody see him, went who? Yeah. And every time I see him play, he impresses me. Yeah. You know, he's got a couple of goals now, a few assists as well. When he, when he went off against um do, 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 a few weeks ago, can't remember, and he pulled he pulled a muscle a little bit. Uh, yeah, and, and, oh yeah, Wigan. Was it Wigan? I can't remember. Okay, yeah. I can't remember. Well, I think it was Wigan. He was just he was the only person terrorising their defence. And he was QPR? he was you're looking at him and I was thinking quick QPR, QPR, I think, yeah. Looking at him and I was thinking, you know what? Boom, this boom, another yeah, boom, another boom, another boom, yeah. boom, another boom, 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 boom. How many booms? Uh, <laughs> and um he he, he he just he's got it. Yeah. You know, you can you can see he just wants to nip in he's got, and he's out. Got the ball like, is very yeah, direct, yeah, yeah. he's quick, yeah. His delivery's very good as well. His crossing's excellent. He scored the best free kick I've ever seen. A direct free kick from a direct free kick. You'll be blues. talking that you'll be talking about that in another, another ten years' time on, the, on this show. Goal. And you'll probably have less air then than you have now. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a makeup um, department, by the way. Did you know? Okay, I look so forward we, to me, that. Me and Chris were discussing <laughs> yeah. it. Was it Sunday we were discussing it over a cup of coffee? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a makeup lady come in and uh, yeah. like get a big bowl of talcum powder and just like that'll be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, we don't get any any shine off the lights and you know just the front of air. And <laughs> so yeah, from for, for me <laughs> since he's come in anyway, he's been very impressive of like what I've seen. Um, and I love the way he hoodwinked the keeper as well against Blackburn. You know when he went through one on one and they made the keeper think he was going to actually cross it in for that winner in the cup. Hmm. And he uh, sort of slotted it underneath him, which was very clever. Okay, oh, I've just clicked on the link and I shouldn't have done that. Right. Um, uh, while, while you're doing that, Adam just said uh, who lifted the playoff trophy. Jeff Kenner. Uh, Jeff That's Kenner? a thought, yeah. Mm. Was Jeff it? Kenner? Was it Jeff Kenner? Who lifted the playoff trophy? There you go. Next yeah, question. Oh. Auntie Linda says, anybody want to sponsor my bungee jump to raise money for the Jeff Horsefield, who's with us tonight, uh, in spirit? <laughs> and Annie Devlin, uh, there is a link there where you can go and donate some money. I'll donate some money, but I'll do it on the day when I've seen you come off that elastic band. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Going back to the playoff, Captain, it was Jeff Kenner and Steve Vickers. Both of them actually lifted a handle each, I'm sure. 
Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, because I had the picture on my wall for years after. Okay, I remember. Wrong. So you didn't have a picture of Donny Osmond on your wall then? Just... <laughs> no. no. Uh, yeah, please click the link if you can uh, um, sponsor Linda. She's going to do a bungee jump. I think it's in May. I'm not too sure. She'll give us a date in a minute. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to watch her. I can't wait. <laughs> I am absolutely going to drive to Litchfield to watch. Are you coming, Chris? Oh, I'll be there. Yeah. Um, I'll be there, yeah. I think we should do a live stream again, don't you? I think we should, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Tilt and talk special. And that, that you got, what you got to think is that that rubber band's been lying out there all winter. Yeah, it's going to get a bit yeah. threadbare. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It'll be threadbare. Yeah. It will be by the time we finish it. Especially now with the added weight. Oh. <laughs> Jack Stables, I think Jeffy's broken. <laughs> Am I in trouble? You can't get a word in, Jack. I don't know if you're in trouble or not. I think you probably are, to be honest with you. I think I probably am, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why has Jeff got his hand on Nick's thigh? Yeah. <laughs> like he's got his left hand on your thigh. Really? Yeah. Can we move that, please? <laughs> oh, he has as well. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> so, yeah. As long as it's your thigh. <laughs> yeah, I've got to move my arm as well. I'm, I'm very right-handed. I can't do anything left-handed. I can't. Even though my phone in the left hand. So. Okay, can I just quickly say, um, please keep sharing the stream. Share, share, share. And then you've got a good chance of being picked next week in our competition called Share, so what, Share, what, Share. What, what's, what, what's other people's opinions on Jeremy Baylor so far? Other than mine, obviously. I love, it. I love, I love watching him play. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a pleasure to watch, isn't he, yeah. so far? Yeah. Am I, anyone disagree or any other opinions other than just mine? What would people think? Hmm. <laughs> um, have you moved, Jeff, now? No, no. Could no. you? I'm getting, like little, I'm, I'm getting a little bit conscientious about this <laughs> issue. <laughs> <laughs> is that a cardboard cutout of the horse? Uh, he's not. No, he's quiet tonight, isn't he? No toe dead. No toe. Uh, no toe vet in, in ages. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Mop, for that one. <laughs> uh, Blues Cardiff, here we go. Um, predictions, please. <clears throat> I'm going to go. Where's my notes from last week? Did you throw me notes away from last week? Mr. No, they should be on your on that pad. Oh, there we go. No. No, they're on that. You know the pad? They're on, the, they're on page one. Okay. From last week? From Luke? No, no. Turn, turn, turn to the front. Turn it over. That, that same pad. There you go. No, that's what I wrote earlier. Oh, is it? Right? It's yeah. there somewhere. It's probably on that one yet. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's see who was right last week then, shall we? Yep. Here we go. Uh, Chris, you went 2-1 to the Blues. Uh, <laughs> uh, 3-0 from Robbo. Robbo went 3-0. I went 2-1. Me and you, Chris. There's, oh, only, there you go. there's only two of us in the house, mate, that got it right. I went 1-0, didn't I? Um, no, my pen was running out. Yeah, I think I went 0-1, I remember. But for this week, Cardiff, I'm going to go 2-1. I'm actually going 2-1 myself. Right, okay. Let's just get that back to here. So... Cardiff. Yeah. 2 1. I'd love to see a clean sheet, but. Paul, yeah, 2, two one. 1. Good brownie. Yeah, I'm going to go 2 1 as well. Yeah. 2 Keep 1. I'm going to go 2 0. Clean sheet. A lot of love for Camp in the middle of a goal. <laughs> a lot of people like him, Miller, as well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sure he's he's, he's gonna he's gonna fly for us, mate. Mm. Right, uh, read some of these out for me if you would. Uh, start with Adam Adam Wilkes is two two. Yep. So Adam, Adam Wilkes two 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 two. Paul Sterndale three Paul one Blues. Sterndale three one. Craig Courtney one nil Blues Duke. Craig Courtney one nil Duke. Three one um, three one to Cardiff from Stephen Gill. What? You said what three? He, put, he puts a hope I'm wrong on the end. 2-1 to Blues from Nicholas Wellsbury. 2-1, yep. 3-0 Blues from Lindsay. Clean sheet for Camp and he's going to so score. just for your birthday, Lindsay. And he's, Camp's going to score a birthday goal as well. She <laughs> said. Uh, Lindsay, yeah. Uh, five more. Nil six, just so one Blues, just so <laughs> oh, one blues oh, gets the end of result. Is that Linda? That is from Steve Portman. All right. Steve you want more? Portman, yeah. Nil, one nil, nil one six. Is that nil six to Cardiff? That's what I'm reading. Right, okay. Mm. Unless he means six nil. He's got the wrong way around. Uh, one nil blues from Kevin French. Kevin French, one nil. And two more. And three two blues from David Twine. Dave three Twine. Two, Dave Twine. And yep. <laughs> one nil from Aaron. Aaron Gullers. Yeah. Can Thank you, you so much. Sab- 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 Khan's gone for 2-1. 
with 10 men. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. So what is the best goal we've seen? Can I stop? Sorry, I really don't want to be rude. Saba Khan, welcome, my good friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a guy that fell out the tree. What tree? I told you about it. Oh, you told us a story yeah. about him. He's in the hospital. He was, he was in the hospital. He had 16 oh. operations oh, on his right, back. So okay. yeah. And he's, oh, he right. got home just before Christmas. Oh, excellent. Oh, what great news. Saba Khan, Zabra is a blue nose. And also, I was talking about you, Saba, last night. My little Scotty says, hello. Just God, joined, brilliant. Just, just joined in with oh, us, yeah. Welcome. He's going 2-1 two, two, with 10 men. That's Sabra. I'm going to put him down as well. Yeah, I was just going to say, Cardiff at home in previous encounters. 2-1, 10 men. What's the best goal our viewers have seen a score against Cardiff at home? Only at home. I can never remember them. Can't you? No. 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 Cardiff no. at home. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> it's the best goal people have seen a score against Cardiff at St Andrews. Oh, Cardiff. Oh, Adam Wilkes exactly. once uh, says, Paul Lipkiss, I'd love to see a clean sheet too, but they've all been snapped up by B6. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> Top quality comedy. Top draw, that lad. Right, um, okay, we've got to really move things along now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah, many yeah. things to go. Beeler, I'll cross... Not crossing Beeler off my list, but I'm crossing. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's coming up now. That's coming up now. Well, we've got our first who, uh, which is coming up right now. Who is this? Uh, who is that? <laughs> Can we get a recording of that? Who? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? A proper crowd recording. And then, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah that'd be better, wouldn't week, it? Please, yep, yeah. thank you. Uh, Jose Dominguez v Cardiff. Sally Clay's going to f- a, a very tight 3-2 to Blues. David Corey, 5-3. Mm. Mm. John Smith says Jose Dominguez against Cardiff at St Andrews. So... Is that the one when he ran through and like chipped it over the keeper? I think. I, can, yeah. I, I honestly, my, 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 I have the worst memory in the world, Paul. Worth, like, yeah, worst yeah, memory. Yeah. I remember uh, Seb Larson getting one against him on a really bad pitch. We beat him one nil, and the pitch was awful. It was nearly called off. It was that bad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Prince, he said that's a tough one. Yeah, right, tough. youth Korea. Here we go. Uh, oh, someone's got it straight away. No, it's Martin Swinsko. Yeah. Really? Honestly, who's got that? Martin Swinsko's got it straight away. He's, Ubina. He's got a. He's got a. No, he's got a fiddle. That's Ubina. Right. I don't remember the name. No, I don't. Yes, yeah, Spanish um, central midfield player signed by Steve Bruce. Played how many games? He got injured at Liverpool. Um, Played twice, and you remember him? Yeah, I remember <laughs> him getting injured at Liverpool. <laughs> Crikey! Yeah. What kind of a savant are you? <laughs> Pardon? I just remember. I just remember things like that. Um, like. Do you, do you like memorise the Scroopix catalogue or <laughs> <laughs> the August book? Yeah, I'll just walk in and say what number without even looking. <laughs> yeah, What's his first name? Yeah, his first name is Borgia. Yeah, Borgia Abina Melendez. Yeah, absolutely don't remember him at all. To be honest with you, no, don't think no, no. Age thirty-seven, so Borgia Abina Melendez. Mich- Stephen Gill said Michelle. I remember him, Michelle. Hmm. hmm. Michelle, my man. <laughs> okay, so you'll have to up the ante then for next next week and, I had. and get a real proper toughie. Another one. I've got another one. Yeah, you got another one. I'm going to get it up in a second. <coughs> if, you just, if you just hold on, yeah, I'm of course, we'll hold on. No problem. Don't forget, we've got to do is share this on your personal Facebook stream to be in a chance with uh, prizes next week. The competition will be drawn in the next five or so minutes, and we'd like to pay thanks to our sponsors, Boyle Sports, who have uh, very kindly donated. Tickets throughout the season, uh, which we've been able to use and give away so that people can go out and have a good time, uh, courtesy of uh, Boyle Sports, our sponsors. And, of course, remembering also SAS Autos and our friends at Bordsley Labour Club. Homeless Appeal. I know Jeff's here, right? But what we're going to do is put out an appeal for the BHST team, right, for more clothes, blankets. I've got a blanket. I'll donate that blanket, Chris, if you want. Okay. All right. Uh, clothes, blankets, toiletries. A bottle of water, anything that could be of use to those poor people out there living on the streets of Birmingham this evening. And well done to each and every single one of our wonderful people who go out there on that outreach and work so tirelessly yeah. to bring a little bit of pleasure to the misery that must be living out there. Mm. Uh, can't be nice. Can't be nice. So, toiletries, blankets, anything you got, anything you can, socks, woolies, scarves, hats, jumpers, the lot, anything, please, please, please. Three points of uh, donation. One is here with Chris Brown. Contact him direct. If you're locally, you'll probably even go and pick him up, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. kind like that. Uh, number two is Bordsley Labour Club. Go and see the guys down there, wonderful bunch. And number three is the Conservative Club at Chelmsley Wood. 
Okay, three drop off points, and please, please, please help us out. And, and help can I just out. say somebody, somebody dropped some stuff off today? Thank you very much, uh, Pauline. Thank you, very Pauline. Much. Well done, thank uh, you. Martin, Martin Swinso said he, he reckons he should win a prize for that. So do you think it's a beanie? Yeah, I, go I think so. Yes. I think yeah. that deserves that. Yeah. Martin Swinso, get in beanie. touch with Chris Brown after the show. Give him your address, and a beanie in. hat will be on its way to you. And they there. look like if you could, Paul. <clears throat> Sorry, mate. Yeah, what is getting on? They look like this. Yeah, they look like there you this. go. Keeping like, right on since like 1875. Like Do you like the black one? Yeah. Yeah. Where did you get the beanies from, buddy? I made them. I make. You hand made them. I hand. You sit there knitting these on the I right time, do you? I them all myself. Yeah. yeah of course I did. <laughs> there you go. I love it. Love it. Uh, Charlton have had a bid accepted for Madison at Posh. Who have? Oh. Charlton. For Marcus Madison. Marcus Madison. Well, he said James. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did see James. somebody mention his, uh, his his name a little earlier. Madison, actually, and uh, I don't know. I, I, okay, I don't like the speculation personally. No. Right? Uh, and, and until I mean, James Brown has, has, has put here that Charlton have had a bid accepted for Madison at Posh. Right. Okay. Now, if that information is factual and correct, I don't mind reading that. No, out, but some I don't, Sky Sports coming yeah. across the bottom in yellow or something. Absolutely. Yeah. Or as a club statement. Or, yeah. You yeah. Know, uh, yeah. Yeah. Beanie for Martin says Kev Kelly. He's got a beanie. It'll be on his way to him after the after the uh, end of the show, my friend. Uh, and many thanks to Aaron who's just sent me the original. <gasps> Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, right, okay. I'll, get that, Prince, set, I'll get that set up for next week. Yeah, you know? perfect. Lovely. Mike but, Prince is asking, is Jeff all right? He looks a bit quiet and a bit pale. <laughs> he's, all, he's all right. He doesn't say a great deal. He's soaking it all in. He's taking, soaking in the atmosphere. Kev Kelly says, my blanket belongs to Ted the dog. Is that Ted's blanket? Yeah, how do you know that? Who said Kev that? Kelly said, that, belong, that blanket belongs to Ted the dog. Yeah, it does. Is that Ted's blanket? It's his old blanket there. Oh. Yeah, it's his old one. Is it is it one that you'd like carry around with him, take around the house? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Video that if you want. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, do you want another who? Here we go. Was, uh, Martin one. Swinsco says, thank you. It'll keep me bold, Ed Warm. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We'll have the proper the proper version of it. Proper version for next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And th- whoever sent that again, thank him. Aaron. Aaron, thank you very much. Our old friend, yeah. yeah. So Our this- old friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, born, date of birth, 1st of July 1976, place of birth, Western Supermare, height 6 foot, uh, playing position fullback, youth career at Birmingham City, so he started, uh, 68 appearances for Birmingham City. Who? Forster is incorrect. Is it? 1976, boy, date of birth. Jerry yeah. Gill is incorrect. Martin Swinsco. So to 2001, 94 till 2001. Blimey. I wouldn't know. Again, I'm, I'm just useless at stuff like this. So 68 appearances. So uh, he was there for a bit. Jerry he? Gill, we signed from... Um, where did we sign Jerry Gill from? Was it Kidderminster? I think it was Kiddy, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Buzz Zach says, I think Jeff is taking the musical statues game a bit too seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dear. He's doing that challenge. Anyway, and Pete Taylor says, I wouldn't believe it, even if the manager said he was signing him outside the training ground. <laughs> <laughs> Another iconic moment in the Tilt and Talk show. That Tate, is, Tate is incorrect. Robert Preston, mate, it's not right, no. Uh, John Bagnall says, my son Stephen works for Birmingham Christian Mission and will collect all manner of furniture if anyone is interested. He will collect all manner of furniture if anybody's interested. If anybody out there needs some furniture, get hold of this gentleman called John Bagnall, and I'm sure he'll put you in touch with his son, Stephen. Thank you very much for that, John. Wonderful, wonderful. Buzz Zach has got it. Oh, he's got it, yeah. Jonathan Bass, well done. Correct. Well done. I thought that was quite a hard one. Mm. But there you go. Well done. Terry's got it as well. Excellent. No, well done. Well done. Kev Kelly, Nick and Paul, we have no money. Can you see us uh, signing anyone, maybe in a, 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 a couple of loans? I hope so, <laughs> again. But I, th- I think until this EFL thing's sorted out, we're not going to be able to sign anyone, are we? No. We haven't put an embargo on us, but... No, I think we can still sign We can still, we sign, can still sign players, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sign there's players. no embargo. No embargo no. at the moment whatsoever. Predictions, we've done that. 28 minutes, we walked out. Who's yeah. so put no hair that. above my head? <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on, on Nick's, it's got... On air. On air, and me, me it's got no hair. <laughs> like it. <laughs> 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 How long's that been on for? How long's that it's been on all the show, yeah. Has he? I never yeah, yeah, yeah. just noticed. <laughs> I just yeah. noticed. Yeah, you're going to have to blame Adam Wilkes for that. He said that, he, that was his idea. That was so <laughs> funny. Adam, well done, mate. Well done. Uh, can you see a sign in anybody? Maybe a couple of loans. I think I think somebody's going to come and somebody's possibly going to go, but uh, I don't know. Like you say, there's, there's no embargo. There's uh, There's no... Hmm. Don't know. I just worry about what you know. Whenever we spend any money, I do worry because it's like, well, what, what does that mean? You know. 
Mm. A few people said Jonathan Bass for your, your competition there. Right, here we go for the Tilt and Talk hat trick if we're ready. Oh, sorry, I'm not ready for that. You're not ready. No, no, no. Here we go for the Tilt and Talk hat trick in three minutes. In, yeah, probably. In three minutes, because then maybe. we'll be into the last 15 minutes. Yeah, that's I, absolutely fine. And my, my back's hurting like mental, and I nearly laugh before in, I go home. I, I mean, if we have got money to spend within the regulations, <coughs> then. You know, it would be nice to well, see. Craig Courtney's saying he thinks the money is available and the UFL can't touch us. And that's mm-hmm. right, yeah, I've, I've heard the same. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm. But we, we don't want to put us into more debt, though, do they, you know? Not Over really. Over the next three years, no, yeah. we don't want to be in the same situation again. Uh, tilt and talk meet up, meet up before a home game. Well, I always go to Bar 8, Gregory, so uh, if you're ever around there, I should be just inside the door. I always like to go and meet my wonderful, wonderful disabled friends and have a chat. <clears throat> you haven't edited these then? You haven't edited them? Yes, I have. Oh, right, okay. Yes, I have, yeah. Well, yeah. that one isn't edited. Didn't no, it? Okay. Steve Gill says, seems to think we're going to sign three on uh, on loan. Right. Um, Only on loan? Three on loan from Steve Gill. Okay, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Mm. Mm. Are you ready now, sir? No, I'm not. No, no he's not. So it's going to be four minutes uh, then. I'm going to blame somebody else. <clears throat> <laughs> and then after this we're going to do uh, on this day if you can get that ready and prepared. I'm afraid um, the person who's dealing with that has um, dropped out so I can't get in touch with him <laughs> that off my list <laughs> Kevin Kelly we need 54 million to run until <clears throat> December 2020 oh, hang on. where is that money coming from um, I, I wish I could give you the answer Kevin I wish I could give you the answer but I just can't and if that is factual that is a staggering amount of money. It's worry, isn't it? Massive mm. worry. Mm. Mm. End of 2020. That's the end of this year. Mm. And we're already halfway through the month. I mm. know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awful. That was criminal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Steve Portman <clears throat> is coming in with some more information on this one. Maximum loss we can record... Uh, this season will be at around 18 million. That will have a bearing on our January transfers, only loans, I would assume. And will anybody be loaned or sold out? Again, that's internal information that we just don't know. We don't know. And thanks, John Bagnall. Birmingham Christian Mission is based in Garrison Lane B9. That's Garrison Lane B9. Or get over to John Bagnall. I'm sure he'll be only too pleased to pass on the telephone number of his son. Interjection. Whenever you're ready. I'm not ready. Now, these were not edited yeah, by me. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not going to oh, do it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> well, I've, here we go for the Tilton Talk. Give him an on air sign. It's straight to his head. It doesn't say the players' names, does it? You edited it? Oh, God. Oh, here comes the first one. I might have to turn them up a bit as well, but. Oh. See? There's no volume on that, is there? I doubt if anybody's going to be able to hear that. No. No. Try that one. No. No, I think we'll uh, abandon I, the idea, don't you? Oh, they might be able to. There's a bit of volume on it here. Yeah. No. Hang on. No. Try. No, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh well, okay. In the I meantime, think we'll give up on that. In the if meantime, you, if you can hear, good it, well question done. from Mark Lightwood. Why do the AFL want to prosecute us, but not anyone else? I don't know, Mark. And I've asked, I've asked myself this question. I've been talking to my kids about it over the over the weekend as well. Uh, it, there just seems to be a massive load of unfairness pointed towards Birmingham City Football Club. Absolutely. And um, I really don't. I really don't know. No. Uh, Linda said that's Villa Park. There's no sound. Yeah. Hmm? Linda said that must be Villa Park because there's no sound. <laughs> yeah, it's very fine. So I'm just listening to it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got to be really, really good if you can remember, if you can get that. But yeah, we'll bring them back to you next week. Yeah, um, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. Oh, I suppose I'll have to do it. We've only had them for like three weeks now, haven't we? Two, yeah, two, two weeks. Two yeah, weeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, Pete Taylor, no money, and the FL are at us again. Naturally, that means we'll splash out 10 million in Dwight Gale. You can do another with Birmingham City. Yeah, yeah. We've got another thing. I'm just thinking I'll get that sorted. We do it our own way, don't we? We do it our own way. I'll I'll do another who in a second. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Uh, Oh, hang on, we'll do that one as well. We can do that one. Yeah, so it is. um, It is concerning, isn't it? Until it's all sorted out, and 
you know, there's some sort of stability and we can just move on as normal. Mm-hmm. And bless you, Steve. I don't know where you're getting your information from. I hope you're right. But the current EFL silliness has no points deduction attached to it, I'm told. Mm. And is there anybody in the under-23s that can promote it to the first team that we could have uh, could have an impact? There's a few. Mm. There's a few that are, are, are proper shining through. I think Robert spoke about a couple last week, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but is it Boyd? Boyd Munts hmm. was one he mentioned. Hmm. Um, Aidan George as well up front is, is doing all right for the 23s as well. Hmm. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it, to have another Jude Bellingham? And, Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Especially up front. You know, somebody who can go next to Jude can put some <coughs> goals in. Uh, right, who didn't work? The hat trick we've done. We've got, we've got another who. Here we go. We've got another who. <laughs> who? <laughs> there we go. Who is this? Date of birth, 30th of June, 1952. Place of birth, Stoke-on-Trent. And he was a defender, midfielder. Uh, and he played 12 games for Blues from 79 to 81. And there we go. Who am I? Three years and only played 12 games. Yeah. That's got to be Colin, Colin Doyle's record, isn't it? Okay. He was yeah, here. He, he was here a long time, and he didn't play that many games. Mm. 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 I've got an only. Does anybody know if the um, if the Coventry Bristol game is televised? Don't think it is. Okay. It's um it's Man United Wolves, isn't it? Wednesday night. All right, I got you. So I don't think it is. Mm. All right. I, Martin Swinscoe's should... got it straight away. No. <coughs> Honestly, Terry Lees. Terry Lees, yeah. Right, let's ban him. Where does Martin get this information Let's from? Let's ban him. Just ban him. Has he got like a like a football version of Shazam? <laughs> encyclopedia. He's Google. Blues right? Encyclopedia. <sighs> Stephen Gill, no chance I'm getting that. <laughs> Martin Swinscoe's already got it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Martin. Well done, yeah, well Martin. Done, mate. Um, message me and I'll get something out, over to you. Bloody uh, Adam Brooks wants a few comments from Jeff. Well, floor's yours, Jeff. Hang on then, I'll just um, zoom in. You on say you. it best when you say nothing at all. <laughs> No, he's not saying anything. No, nothing. And no. Steve Portman wonders why it's taken nine months for the uh, EFL to leak this apparent breach. Hmm. Mm. I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Do you? <laughs> Aaron says, don't bother getting Jeff on again. No, <laughs> no he don't, he's not very communicative. <laughs> uh, Is that the correct word? Yeah, communicative. Yeah. Communicative. Yeah. I should try saying that about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, Martin Swinscoe, I'm not Googling. Knowledge is the bomb. Uh, yeah, I believe I it. Knowledge is the he bomb. does it that quick. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I actually believe him. Yeah yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Martin. I wish I, I wish I had your brain, mate. I, I, I've got no chance, zero chance at all. Text, oh, somebody, somebody, te- text me half an hour to remember my own name when I get up in the morning. <laughs> James Brown has actually got the goal that you've just. No. Honestly. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, Byron James, Stevenson against, well against James him. Brown heard that. The yeah. own you heard it? My oh. life. Crikey. Mm. The only one that heard it and he got it right, so um, <laughs> Well done, James. Good comment there from Craig Courtney, but I'll have to leave that one where it is. <laughs> the horse needs feeding. Comptry versus Bristol Rovers is tomorrow night, says Jason Drennan. <laughs> no, no, it's Wednesday. Check it out, check it out, I've check it out. It's Wednesday, it's uh, Tottenham and Middlesbrough tomorrow night and um couple of other games but I did check unless I've misread Kev French says Jeff looks bored bored do you get it okay yeah. into in, we're almost into the last 15 minutes now aren't we almost yeah almost we'll just wait you to verify this yeah uh, oh okay sorry uh, Kev Kelly club wanted um, uh, club warned in March 2019 I keep losing that because stuff coming through quick and had to wait uh, for the year end figures released to confirm the breach club have known for nine months mm. Is the horse cardboard, says Trevor Smith. No, he's actually superimposed, isn't he? No, he's actually there. He's actually, he's just, no, he's there. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just there. <laughs> it's really good, actually, as, isn't it? As Craig Courtney says, he's, um, Karen must have placed a gagging order on him. Can you make him a little bit bigger, a little bit taller? Although I'm not, I'm glad you never heard that. I did, Pardon? I did, and oh, that's okay. why I said I wouldn't read it Oh, out. I can make him as tall as you like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make him a bit taller. Where do you want him, tall uh, there or taller there? there? On the one next to Paul. On the one next to Paul, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll let's get, just I'll stretch him out a little bit, ready? Okay, you want him on that? Whee! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, into the last 15 minutes we go. This is about a show where we have a little bit of madness and it cheers me up on the way home when I think of all the answers. The whole bloody through. show's been mad. <laughs> Ooh, it has quite, yeah, it has. Go on, go on. I'll take it back. The, the Sky Sports app said it was Wednesday night. Okay. Bristol Rovers. 
According to BBC. No, it's Tuesday. It's, it's tomorrow. Tuesday, it's tomorrow. It's, it's and tomorrow. is it televised? No. It's no. not. You'll get it on IP. Is that St Andrews so. as well? <clears throat> yeah, it is, yeah, of course. So it's home in, they're at home, aren't they? You should all go and watch. I'm working. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go and watch. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to go watch commentary. Mm. <laughs> okay. That was a crazy idea. Crazy, crazy idea. Um, okay, into the last 15 minutes, then it's any part of your car and football. Any part of your car. I'll start you off with Raheem's steering wheel. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that all the way here. <laughs> oh, crikey. What about Kemar Roof? Raheem's steering wheel. Kemar Roof. <laughs> Kemar Roof. Oh, dear. Any part of your car and football. Uh, three word review have we got a winner for that one yes I'm this and this ok let's do the shares now Paul would you would you pull one out of there for us this is a shares from last week thanks so much for sharing on the stream uh, keep sharing tonight keep sharing Aaron Gallas Aaron oh Aaron first night in for a, a long time for him bless him Aaron get in touch with Chris after the show and some goodies will be winging their way down to you Aaron lives in Cornwall oh, okay. Cornwall or Devon somewhere down that way anyway <laughs> So what, what what do we what do we think Saturday? Is he uh, gonna we make got, we got Liam Dashboard. Yeah, Liam Dash yeah, Liam Lee Dashboard. Lamp. Ian Bonnet. Ian like Bonnet. That one. That's Ian a good Bonnet. one. I like that one. <laughs> Benji Smith, John Smith, and everybody's going. Lee Clamp from Lindsay. Um Pete Taylor, last fifteen minutes, cracked knuckles. <laughs> what about Noel Brake? Noel Brake is a good one, yeah. Yeah, like Noel Brake. No break. Go on. Three word review. The winner from a Mark McElroy. Uh, it's quite simple, really. He says, let's enjoy it. There you go. Yeah. Let's enjoy, let's enjoy it. it. Why not? Yeah. Let's I think my favourite we've got the win. Was cross the ball. Message me, Mark. <laughs> cross the ball. Do, do we think you'll make many changes Saturday to the team? Um, I, you know, I don't. I, uh, you've got, you got Crowley and Bellingham, and obviously that didn't start, and Sonic should be <clears> back. <throat> mm. mm. Sonic should be back Saturday, isn't it? You only missed one game. Yes, one game, yeah. yeah. You see him leaving Sonic, eh? I don't no. know. No. I just can't. I can't. I can't. Read it to be honest, yeah. Mm. And uh, like I say, you know, let him go on with it because he he'll take the flack if we lose and he'll get the applause yeah. if we win. Yeah, you know that's what it's all about, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Lee Sump in the middle of our goal from Ray. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ray. Uh, we've got quite a few Ian Bonnets, Lee Clamp from Steve Portman, Keep Welbeck. I don't know where the car car bit comes from off that from Robert Preston, but there you go. Uh, Ken Radiator Leak. <laughs> nice. That's good. <laughs> Clever one. Clever Bar- one. Barry Horn. <laughs> Uh, Barry Horn's Christophe du Garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruno Indicator Martins. <laughs> Christian Pedelson. <laughs> Don't go in. Go on. Uh, just a quick one, everybody. Thanks, everybody. We've had 605 comments so far so tonight. Far. Quite a lot tonight, so yeah. is, and, and, and and a couple of uh, quite a lot of shares as well. It's a shame they all didn't really join in, isn't it? Really? Yeah. You know, <laughs> we'll get him on here. We'll get him on here soon. Hey, can, I, can I also say I've got to say thank you to <clears> because we had. I sort of told you today we had last in 2019. We yes, had this is just amazing. Listen, 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 hang on, listen to this. Listen, be quiet. Stop what you're doing. Put down your cup of teas or your beer and listen to this. This is unreal. Okay, so, so uh, approximately we had approximately uh, 322,733 listens last year. Can last I just write wow. that figure down? 322,000. Yep. 723. It is actually. 723 in 2019 that's amazing yeah. that Lis- listens and downloads that is yeah so it's good isn't it? how many around shows so that's over a quarter of a million really <laughs> how many shows oh it's quite a lot of shows yeah, yeah, roughly, like that. yeah 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 because you've always got the summer where you don't do it yeah of course yeah 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 that's some going that is yeah, yeah just, good, quite proud just. yeah all right, okay, there are some funny ones coming in. We've done Bruno, Indicator Martins, Christian Paddleson, we've done that one. Tyrone Mears. Oh, Tyrone, I like this. Tyrone Mears. I like this one. <coughs> Nick Greaves, Nico Vassen, your seatbelt. Oh, oh! Brilliant. Brilliant. Barry Horn. Uh, no changes for uh, Kev Kelly on Saturday. Cardiff are very physical. It will be a battle. Yeah, that's yeah, so what I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much thinking you, there. Yeah. Ian Rust, instead of Ian Rush. Stephen yeah. Carr. Uh, Fan Crowley from Pete Taylor, <laughs> Jeff Horsepower, <laughs> uh, Jack Wilkins, Butland, okay, Car yeah, Jack, Jack yeah, yeah. yeah, from Ray. Thanks, Ray. What about David Speedo? <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> uh, Ray Clutch Wilkins from Buzz, uh, Tyrone Mings Six One. Don't know what that's all about. 
<laughs> what about Jeff Exhaustfield? Jeff Exhaustfield. Well, that's very good. <laughs> yes, I quite like that one. Who's done that one? Nobody. I just thought oh, of it. Oh, right, okay. Just thought of it. You almost got the prize. No, nothing. no, yeah. You almost got the prize of nothing. <laughs> uh, Jeff Horsepower. Um, Nico Vassin, you see, oh, I like that one. Um, not going to read that one from Kevin French, but I know exactly what it was. Uh, Break Park Salter. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Martin Tyler, Tyler Law. What about Paul Reverson instead of Paul Merson? Yeah, yeah. Darren Carr Tyre. <laughs> That's quite good. That's, yeah, that is very good. That is quite good. Yeah. Thanks, James Brown, for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Whelans, yes, I'll get that one. Like that one. And Terry Zempsey, Jeff uh, Exhaust Field's got a brilliant hot chocolate cup, cup holder. From Benji Smith. <laughs> How about that one for your car park, Chris? Chris, hot how about that one for, you, how about for your car, your car, your car park? Hot <laughs> chocolate cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you bought the mince pies in just okay. We're about to oh, leave yeah, in five sorry. minutes time. Jack Magoma. <laughs> Yeah, Jack McGowan, I've Jack got that McGowan. one, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's he's only just bought in. <laughs> just bought him in now. Huh? You right. know what's going to happen, don't you? Now go back in his kitchen we'll in a minute. Go back in his kitchen oh, yeah. in a minute. Yeah. come out again next year. Yeah. Keep until next year. What's the sell boy date? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Sharon Hudson is Keep watching, them. by the way. Should be at work. 13th of January. 13th of Jan. What? Is that today? That's today. You better eat them then quick, hadn't you? Right, Thirteenth of January, <laughs> two thousand. We've covered everything on there. On uh, we've, we've covered everything on my list there? today. Yeah, they were doing uh, quite well actually. Oh, to, to today, to be page. fair. No, I've got no second page today. Uh, four twenty-four minutes past four o'clock in the morning. Ah, right. Okay, so they're perfectly all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Can we Cardiff? keep this win going? Do you reckon Saturday? <laughs> I think we can win Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, I, don't, I don't care how we play what the team is as long as we win you know don't get me wrong I do like to be entertained I do like to see us win convincingly but you know I'd take an ugly win rather than a convincing display and mm. losing the game mm. we've got some more crackers coming in now we'll break Gary Baller yeah. uh, Jack Wing Jack Mugwarmer <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty clever. That, clever I think that one's up there now Jack <laughs> Mugwarmer <laughs> Terry McDermott, M.O.T. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I think, I think uh, people John are getting Smith, too clever. Platine you. Number, yeah, number, number plate. Number platine you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I'll see what he did. Uh, Steve Portman, out of date mince pies. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Carr, Beretta. <laughs> Rubber Savage. <laughs> Lee Clamped. <laughs> uh, Linda Magnus says thanks for the show I have to go thank you Linda for listening you are part of that 322,723 who enjoyed the shows last year thank you very what much what a marvellous number that is that's incredible it is yeah, yeah. Um, Steve Portman says he reckons them mince pies are 2019 no, definitely 2020 sorry. today yeah. not even by today Mark like we're a brilliant show lads love it Mark you are the reason that we do it you and people like you my friend Believe me. Uh, Adam Wilkes has gone for Rubber Savage. Yeah, I've seen that one now. <laughs> Have you sent your letters to her Hong Kong Stock Exchange from Kev Kelly? No, I haven't. No? No, no. Are you going to? Uh, probably not, no. No, no. no. Not going to waste a stamp? No. no. Not going to waste a stamp. Okay. Okay. Arsehole. Uh, Kev <laughs> says... Arsehole? <laughs> 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 no, don't you him. That's going to sound really good to me. I know, sorry. <laughs> oh, they'll just cut that out. Don't worry about it. Reva Francis, I can't even say it. Reva Francis, from Reva Lee Mailey. Reva Francis. Reva, Reva Francis. Oh, Reva. 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 Yeah, Reva. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kev French says, uh, <laughs> mince pies were made in the last decade. Yeah. <laughs> Tax Colin. Tax Colin, yeah. Tax Colin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Frank Lamplights from <laughs> Siobhan. <laughs> She's been drinking far too much. Uh, Siobhan, you didn't tell us what you were drinking, Sugar. Paint Spray Adams. <laughs> Instead of shy. Yeah. Oh, crikey. Check and door. Nobody told me. Mm, Adam Wilkes. Look, my camera, camera fell over and no one even noticed. Your camera fell off? My camera fell How over long ago? no one noticed that I wasn't... I wasn't How on. long ago? Probably hours ago. Probably yesterday. Kev <laughs> 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 uh, Kelly says, Chris, that's a bit harsh. Uh, yeah, you guys should do this in a pub. Oh, my God, could you imagine it? Mick Greaves says we should do this in a pub. Well, imagine that. Huh? Yeah. What, be with, a a sleep, with a sleepover somewhere. Yeah, well, wouldn't be a family show though, would it? 
Savo Mirolosevic. What do you mean, could be? Savo Mirolosevic. Do you remember when we used to sit shout that at Blues? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go, Savo, 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 yeah. Savo, I do. Savo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of some of the... Oh, there he is. He's just popped up there all over the... Oh, yeah. my God. What he is going before, on? Though, isn't they've, they've said that we, sh- we should do it in Borsley Labour Club before. Yeah, we, we, we can do that. Anytime. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, we can do I that consume anytime. alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll need a stopover. Well, I could sleep in the car, couldn't I? The first yeah, time. yeah, yeah. At uh, 61 in 90 minutes. Thanks ever so much for that, Paul Sterndale. Uh, we've got Stephen Carr. Uh, Lindsay says, hey, Chris. We're too crying. <laughs> nothing crying. Declan Dice. Yeah, Declan the Dice that hangs oh, in the mirror. Oh, yeah, of course. Like yeah, yeah. It's in for donkeys. Yes. No, 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 me. Uh, rear view Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Pink gin, lemonade, and Fosters all in one glass, Siobhan. Please, please. <laughs> Who drink? Oh no, no, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. I could, Pink gin, not a great love. It. Tate in window. <laughs> what about Loch Madsen? Don, Don Clutchinson. Yeah, Don, Don that's Clutchinson. A good one. That's a good one. Don Clutchinson. Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, good. Ivan Sunroofich. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. Uh, Linda Enzer said she'll, she'll, she'll uh, put you up, Nick. Linda. She probably oh, won't after she, after she listens to the show tonight. Yeah, yeah. What you said about her. I didn't say nothing, Linda. Honestly. You honestly, did. I didn't say. I'm, no, I'm pretty I sure say, it was I you. I didn't say a thing. I promise you. I'm I didn't pretty, say your I'm, thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, you were implying that she was meet, slightly meet you, overweight. I'll meet you in bar eight well on Saturday. Old. But I didn't, I didn't say a thing. No, no, I'm pretty well, sure. Well, right, there we go. She's Three o'clock kick off Saturday, Birmingham City versus Cardiff. And uh, can we make it three on the trot? Let's all hope so. I hope you've enjoyed the Talk and Talk show tonight. We're sorry that the horse couldn't make it, but it was a genuine reason why he couldn't. Yep. And yeah. we can't, obviously, for obvious reasons, go into that. No. And that would be unfair. Uh, but we know the reason, and that's good enough for us. And if it's good enough for us, it's good enough for you. Yes. Thanks again so much, Paul. Once again, great yeah, laugh, pleasure mate. as cracking, always. Cracking laugh. Last 15 yeah. minutes was uh, hilarious again. Yeah. Uh, Let's Siobhan, this time next Siobhan week, was again. on the pink gin. She must have finished that off, and now on the Fosters. <laughs> <laughs> Save us one, Bob. I'll be rounding them in. Uh, Tim petrol station flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with cars, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know where that come from. <laughs> Tim petrol station flowers. <laughs> Chicky, look at that one. Chicky I, think, I think Adam Wilkes is probably with Siobhan Kenny mixing the pink gin and, and lager together and drinking it as we speak. What about Harry Fuel instead of Harry, Harry Fuel? Fuel, oh, yeah, yeah, like that one. Yeah, I like oh, that well, one. That's good for you. Like yeah. that one. Well, well done. Uh, Lindsay Phillips says the Duke. The Duke. That is a car, isn't it? The Duke. Yeah, yeah. Nissan. Yeah. Nissan Duke. Paul, Paul girl, Revlin from car. John Smith. Uh, Linda says, oh, she'll put me up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Thanks I like what my Anthony Barney did there. Can I just ask if it's a flat roof or a tilted one? Because <laughs> that depends on which way around I lie and how much I have to drink. <laughs> yeah. Peter, yeah, Peter unloved the show. Oh, I love it, mate. Well Hello, that. Anthony. Mark Clever. Andy. Bit creepy, but yeah. Well done. <laughs> Mark Anthony Barrett, well done. Well how, done. Did, how did Tom Ross's Tinder date go? Cheers, Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, to, back to you, Siobhan. Have yourself a lovely birthday on Friday, and Linda, whenever it was. And Lindsay, happy birthday to you as well in the week. Have a great one. I'll see you uh, all in bar eight Saturday. We're about uh, one ish. She'll be down by then. Uh, Steve Froglight. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Uh, how did the Tom Ross Tinder date go? So <laughs> we don't really know. We didn't ask. We didn't ask. Uh, check and car door. So we had that one earlier, but it was funny. Yeah. Still funny, yeah. Uh, loving it. Loving it. Great, mate. Thanks ever so much yep. for your, for Thank your you. time and for your effort and for your energy and everything. And um, we're going to go home soon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. There's, uh, there's, uh, would you like a little spray, Chris, before you go? Oh, go on then. I'll try it, yeah. Oh, on the mics. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, the audience can't see this thing. All right, okay. They got their answer Ah, oh, it smells disgusting. I don't like it. <laughs> Two of us do. That's <laughs> all right. That's all right. We'll see you all back here next Monday, 7.30, right through till 9. Thanks to Boar Sports, our sponsors, principal sponsor, of course, of Birmingham City Football Club, and to SAS Autos and Borsley Labour Club. Thanks to Paul Hipkiss, Chris Thank Brown, you. and from myself, Kate Ryder. Let's bag these three points. Absolutely. Let's get St Andrews rocking on Saturday. This is a big game. Yep. Let's get the place noisy, just like it was against Leeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty-five quid you bundle for your tickets as well for the next uh, for the next month. Three games, three games. That's Forty-five brilliant. quid. Brilliant. Forty-five quid. Fantastic. Yeah, good deal. Definitely, mm. definitely. All right, all the best. Take care. Keep right on. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And thanks for being one of the three hundred and twenty-two thousand seven hundred and twenty-three people who listened to this show last year and enjoyed what we do. We do it for free. We do it because we love it. And we'll be back again. 
Pod within next Monday. Take care. Good night. We have the team that's tops here at St. Andrews. They're going to give us what we're longing for. It's burning up forever. Let's hear it from the stand. So come on, see, sing this song once more. Support you too.